Dan Newman with Story for Battles of New Jersey. In today's video, we're going to talk about our 1980s air defense systems, such as this machine right here, the SLQ-32, uh, which is used as a detection and jamming device for surface skimming missiles. Over here, in this empty spot here, there would have actually been the controls for our uh, Phalanx Seawaves, the six-barrel Gatling gun, which is our last point of defense against uh, sea skimming. So here we are amidships in between the two uh, missile decks here on the ship and our aftermost sea whiz mounts. Uh, this is the one here that's on the port side. So this is the business end of the weapon here. This is a Mark 61 Vulcan Gatling gun. It has six barrels. Uh, these guns were originally designed uh, to uh, be put on airplanes to uh, shoot down other airplanes. Uh, they are air cooled. They fire at a rate of around 3,000 rounds per minute on this particular version of the Sea Whiz. Uh, up above here in this white dome is where the radar systems are. There are two in here. There is one that basically does a search and acquires the target, and another one that really hones in and locks in on it. This particular weapon system can be either automatic, where this does uh, decide whether or not it's going to uh, to shoot down a target, or it can be uh, uh, manually controlled as well. So directly beneath the guns, here on the O4 level, is the associated magazine. The um, depleted uranium rounds would have been in a um, ammunition box, and those ammunition boxes would have been stored right here in these particular racks. There's a door right out over here, which actually leads to an elevator. So the ammunition boxes are quite heavy, and we're pretty high up here on the ship right now. And uh, the elevator comes up from down below here, up this rail system and right here. This is the elevator here, and that is that door that we were just seeing inside. Standing on the hatch right here, uh, that would allow this elevator to come up. Also here on the O4, next to the magazines, are the associated shops and computer rooms for the Phalanx Seawiz. Pretty much all of these spaces here amidships are now used by our volunteers, such as our brass team and uh, our radio club. Uh, these guys come in on the weekends and uh, really are the ones who maintain all the systems, including the ones uh, that are on, uh, that, that you would see in CEC, where all of this equipment would actually have been uh, commanded from. Uh, this particular space is uh, the CWIS, is a CWIS computer room. If you're interested in volunteering, check the link below. So the ship's first line of defense against uh, any ship missiles is high above the ship, right up, uh, right up there. Uh, it is an SLQ-32, or as what the sailors would have called the Slick-32. Uh, this antenna uh, can track and um, can, can passively track uh, an incoming threat, but also jam that incoming radar as well. Uh, also associated with SIG 32 is these here. This is the Mark 36 Super Rapid Blue or Jeff or Super R uh, Each one of these mortars would fire a canister up into the air, and inside of that canister, look like strips of tin foil. And what that does is it sort of clouds up the radar signature of the ship. Uh, these are also capable of firing uh, flares as well uh, to confuse heat seeking missiles. So each one of these super rapid balloon off board half uh, units here has an associated magazine right next to it. So the way this all works together is at first a missile is detected the uh, slip 32 high above would be trying to send out a jamming signal uh, to confuse the incoming missile. If that doesn't work, then we would have uh, the Super Arbok. If that failed, and in the end, we have the Phalanx Seawiz, which would uh, blow the target out of the sky. All of these systems are still used in uh, today's modern Navy. Uh, they all have been upgraded, though, at this point. Uh, there really isn't 
very much that we can tell you about these systems because of that fact that they are still uh, being used in our people's classes. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and check the link down in our description for our GoFundMe campaign. And also, if you'd like to support the ship in other ways, you can buy things from the ship store, like this hat and this polo.